What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today we are going over the high chain nodes. It's something that I saw my timeline before. We've actually interviewed the team way back when if you're wanting to see what that was like and they're still kicking around, so thought I would highlight what their upcoming node sale is all about. So to kick things off, they are doing a high chain node key sale, and I guess they're expecting quite a lot of volume. So with doing this, they're gonna allow certain individuals uh, to be able to get in before everybody else. The sale is going to be structured in four different phases. And within these phases, it's going to be kind of a point system to decide how many you need to be able to purchase within those different phases. Points are earned from either holding or staking the NFT worlds, the avatars, or gray boys. And each of those different assets having a different weighting for how many points they can earn. And the sale ranges from 30 all the way down to two points required to be able to buy a node key. For the nodes themselves, there is a supply cap of 50,000 node keys. And here's a quick little breakdown of the pricing tiers. If we just mentioned a second ago how the NFTs give different points to be able to get into different tiers, and those tiers also upping your costs. So that might be why certain NFTs are going up in value, because if they don't get the cheaper price on the node, then they're going to have to pay it eventually within this, assuming that it reaches all of these tiers. So at tier 1, 3,183 are available for point 0.1, where when it comes down to tier 30, there's 719 of them, and they're going to be charging 5.75 ETH when they get down to that range. And with the point system, there is kind of a breakdown where every time that you buy a key, you actually lose the points that are accrued from that, so it kind of evens the distribution a little bit. The high chain guardian node software is something that you might have a question about. Can my computer run it, et cetera, et cetera. It's supposed to be for Linux, PC, and Mac. And there is going to be specified minimum hardware requirements as per usual, but I'm going to highlight that on the screen right now. Feel free to pause the video if you're wanting to read more on them. And it does support running multiple node keys on a single machine. But you should expect that software updates are going to happen periodically. The reward distribution, we got the good stuff, 250 million Topia tokens. And that's going to be over a three year span based on the number of node keys tied to their operation and participation in assertion challenges. Operators also are going to receive a share of network transaction fees. The Topia token has a capped supply of 5 billion tokens. And Topia serves as the high chain gas fee token, and it's going to be able to be bridged to Ethereum as well. And the overall token allocations cover various sections from the stakeholders, including the high Topia ecosystem, high chain foundation, the team itself, liquidity providers, and node operators. And each of them having a specific unlock period and conditions that involve. And something that we're seeing with a lot of these new chains is implementation or integration of certain things for their token syncs and fees. And so high chain includes transaction fees on various services like on ramps, liquidity pools, marketplace trading and first party mints that are going to support their operation and of course, the ecosystem development. For their marketplace and player trading, a standard fee of 5% is applied to all transactions within the marketplace and player-to-player -player trades. This is commonly referred to as secondary markets or secondary trading. This fee may occasionally be reduced or removed for specified partners in unique cases at the discretion of high chain. These transactions typically use USDC and Topia token, but can involve any network token with an active Topia pair liquidity pool. Fees collected in tokens other than Topia are converted back to Topia through the swap pool before being sent to the high chain foundation. So that's interesting. 5% enforced on pretty much everything. It feels like somewhat high of a royalty price, but still, nonetheless, we will see how the markets decide on that. And so there's your quick little video about high chain. If you've enjoyed this, feel free to give me a like and be sure to go over to my live tab and come see me daily where we do X feed going over the craziest and wildest news of NFTs and Web3 on my X feed. I'll talk soon.